We are definitely at Quasi Amusement Park, which is in Connecticut. And it's it's definitely a small park, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very small park. We can already tell you that we just got here. It looks kind of cute. It sort of looks like a weird mesh between like a fair style park, but you can definitely tell how it's always here. Mm -hmm. That part's interesting. Let's check it out. Here's what the parking lot looks like. It's a very small parking lot. It ends up being grass parking up there. And then over here, you know, there are designated spaces where you can park. It was $10 to park. By the way, after 4 p.m., you're allowed to get a wristband with unlimited rides. Otherwise, you could actually buy tickets per ride. You don't have to buy a pass for the whole park. This park is a ticketed experience where you can enter the park for free and then you can technically just buy tickets to whatever rides you want to do. They do have picnic tables here. Kind of a little camp area, picnic area. It's called Happy Camper. I love the art that they have there. It looks like for their coaster, they have an observation deck area. And that's to the right where you can actually capture those smiles as riders fly by. Our after 4 p.m. passes were $17.99 each. Uh, so it's about like $35 to get in, so it's not a bad deal. Hopefully they have some cool rides. Looks like they have a little cutout here where you can get your picture taken. And then sadly, the big flush water coaster, it is not running. So this is one of those types of coasters where you actually don't need a swimsuit. You can actually go in normal clothes. However, sadly, it's not running. It's not the biggest ride, but that's fine with me. Uh, this would probably be similar to the Cobra one at Clark's Bears that we recently did. Uh, and I really wish this was running. So the restrooms here leave a little something to be desired. You know, there's certain things that you learn to look for. Like, making sure the stall has toilet paper. But I didn't know until here that you need to learn to look for dry toilet paper. I went into a couple stalls and the entire roll is soaking. Oh, learn something new. Ah, uh, they got another cardboard cutout. This one with a clown and a swimsuit guy. That's kind of cool. And then over here, looks like they sometimes have a theater show. This is their quasi carousel theater. Ah! Over here, you have their grand carousel. An amusement park's not complete unless they have one of these. And above their arcade, let me just show you what they have. They have this a very creepy clown look look at that face that is a creepy clown and in front of the carousel they actually have a miniature model of their wooden ro warrior roller coaster so you can see it's not a very long coaster at all but it looks kind of fun and now we're on our way to do the train station our first ride of the day so behind the train station they actually have this giant picnic area huge amount of picnic tables even some lawn chairs it looks like so they do have a lot of places where you and your family can rest and enjoy a nice picnic before or after or during your park visit what it just it pulled up to the station and then it kept going <laughs> what <laughs> what I yeah. We are going towards the back. We got the very, very back of the train. Behind us is certain death if we were to fall out and hit those train tracks. Those are electrified and they would kill a huge whale if it were to touch those train tracks. Right, Crystal? Okay, definitely telling the truth on this one. We're off. Crystal pointed out the Scooby Doo earlier. Scooby Doo Doo! <laughs> Crystal, watch out! There's a tunnel! That's a, that's a strong skunk smell. There's probably a skunk somewhere over here in the woods.
and we're back to the station. That's a fun, funnish train ride. I'm glad we got two go arounds on it. Moving on. So train station's right there. Carousel's right here. So we're gonna go do the carousel right now. Seems like a decently themed and maintained carousel. Pretty nice, lots of lights. Can't complain there. They have a lot of horses that go up and down. I know some will have their horses stagnant on the sides where they don't go up and down, they're just like motionless. But uh, yeah, no, this is a good carousel it looks like. Up next are some teacups, they're crazy cups. All right, we're all situated in our teacups of doom. Uh, let's see if we can get this up to 60 miles per hour by spinning this really, really, really fast. Teacups were kind of fun. We definitely spun very fast. They were a lot of fun. I don't know what you're on. <laughs> that was so much fun. I am a little bit of a stick in the mud. I still had my hands up in the air. I was enjoying that. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, one more thing. Crystal had the suggestion of them playing music during the teacup ride because there was no music. It was kind of just like you heard the teacup spinning around. I wish they had music there, so do that. We're now on the way to do the Wooden Warrior roller coaster. This is the premier attraction at this park. It is probably their biggest ride, most expensive ride. Uh, let, let's see what the wait's like. Amazingly, there's actually not a long line. This is maybe two or three coasters that we have to wait for. So we just got off of it, and it seemed very similar to Roarosaurus, which we just did at Storyland in Hampshire. Mm -hmm. uh, it is shorter though. Yeah, yeah, definitely a smaller version, smaller hills, um, but very, very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, they did have a cubby system that you could store your things in. It, it wasn't like Secure, it's just an OB cu open cubby system, but they only run one train, yeah. so you're not going to have so two trains trying to safe. grab the same the side. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Uh, so definitely store your stuff and yeah, it's a good ride. All right, we're making our way around the park right now. It's kind of funny. On our way here, we looked up how crowded the park was gonna be like on Google's little scale thing. And it said it was very crowded right now. However, this is not crowded for us whatsoever. Every ride has been almost a walk on. So uh, out of the three rides we did. So not many rides, but still, uh, it, it's not that crowded. Looks like they have a sweet shop over here with some different Hershey's ice cream flavors. They got crazy vanilla chocolate chip cookie dough, cookies and cream, mint moose tracks, peanut butter cookies and cream, rainbow sherbet, chocolate moose tracks, and strawberry. So we are making our way down to some paddle boats over here. Looks like they have a nice paddle boat area. Actually, to the left of the paddle boats, this is their other coaster. This is like their kitty coaster. They have these at like a lot of the small parts. It's just a very tiny roller coaster. While we're waiting in line for the coaster, check out this ride over here. This is really cool. They got like guns that you could like shoot people with and they make noises, I think. I love the front and the back. The back you can't just get left out. Yeah, and it's a really cool vehicle design. That's cool. <laughs>
Little Dipper was a fun short coaster. It was rough though. Yeah. It had like hardly any padding. If you're an adult, you <laughs> probably gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, I mentioned, or I heard people mentioning about like whiplash, so I think about like holding your neck and stuff, but I didn't have a problem with that. The biggest problem was the fact like that lack of padding that hit like the middle lower part of your back as an, as an adult. Uh, so yeah, that's the part to watch out for on that one. Mm -hmm. Right outside the Little Dipper, they have some very tiny bumper cars. Like these are super tiny. Well, they're called junior bumper cars. Oh, Crystal's right. They are called junior bumper cars. One of the coolest things about the Little Dipper, though, is the right after operator, this guy right here, absolutely amazing. He stops the ride because it runs two times. So he stops it after the first run, makes sure everybody's fine. This is mostly for the little kids because the little kids sometimes get scared and they want off. So he actually stops it, makes sure everyone wants to go again, and then he runs it again. That's pretty cool. This park is literally on the water here. So I wonder if you're like in one of these houses across the lake, if you could like kayak over here and enjoy the park or drive your boat up and tie it over here. Over here they have a restaurant called Fried Dough. Uh, isn't Fried Dough just a donut? I'm very confused. They have a swinging chair right on the left here. Some of these swinging chairs sit two, one by one. This is just single. They have a SpongeBob SquarePants like picture area. Oh, Crystal wants her picture taken. Over here behind the SpongeBob SquarePants thing, they have something called the Quasi Zoo which is just a whole bunch of like animals that you can climb on. That's kind of nifty. Over here is part of their Splash Away Bay, which is part of their water park area. Looks like it's a nice little beach with some chairs. Yeah. They have a rope there that lets you know where you can and can't swim. And they even have a lifeguard chair out there. Let me zoom in. Look at that, they have a big lifeguard chair out there. <laughs> Crystal has this fascination of dipping her feet in any large or small body of water she can. Just to say she's done it, so. She's taking off her sandals and she's dipping her feet in here. Looks like somebody set up their ch chairs here with a little puddle where they could do it as well. You know what, I'm gonna take off my shoes and do it too. Okay, we're just two people with our feet in water, cause why not? All right, so favorite coaster, or favorite ride of the day, I should say, for me, probably has been their one big roller coaster. I've already forgotten what it's called. Crystal, what about you? What's been your favorite ride of the day so far? Teacups. Okay. So while Crystal was relaxing on the beach, I just did a 360 walk around of the theme park. So if you're interested in like 360 VR walk arounds of like theme parks, definitely follow our other channel, Park in Air 360, where we basically do 360 rides and 360 walk arounds of theme parks and stuff. So yeah, I did that just then. Moving on. It's a splash. Up, oh, they got a big chair too. It seems like every theme park has a big chair that people can sit in. It's about 30 minutes until the water park closes and it's not that crowded. This is like the optimal time to go. There's hardly a line for any of these rides and I'm pretty sure these are the big ticket rides of the water park. So we're heading to the bumper cars and even these slides over here, they don't have a long line either. Definitely a success. It was fun. I bumped Crystal a whole bunch. That bumper car, it was interesting. I feel that one was actually a little bit rougher, a little more old school style. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it and I really got high tech there. I started going backwards and like bumping into people with the back of my bumper car. Yeah, I'm that technical with a bumper car. Watch out for me. Also, one interesting thing that they're doing here tomorrow, they're actually hosting like an Ironman tournament. Uh, so they actually have like a bike pit set up in the parking lot. Uh, for the bike portion of it. So basically they will swim in the lake for a short distance. I forget what the distance is. And then after that they will bike for like 32 miles or 64 miles or something like that. It's a long time. And then they're gonna run quite a bit. I think they run a full marathon, maybe? I'm not sure, but it's definitely a long, long time exercising. I couldn't do it. But yeah, that's pretty cool that Quasi Amusement Park kind of posts it. We are making our way down. We're gonna do the last boat ride of the night around the lake. This is what our ticket looks like. 
They, it looks like they have tickets for each time that the boat goes out. Ours is at 7 p.m. And so they probably use these as a way to see if the boat is full or not. So yeah, here we go. We're on a boat. And I hope it's not named the Titanic. And we're off. I just heard one of the captains say that one of the houses over here constantly complains about this boat going too fast. Not something we see too often. There's a bald eagle there. Check out the bald eagle. I saw he was on the ground and I saw him flying up into the air. That's pretty cool seeing the bald eagle there. Paddle boats you can rent to go paddling in the lake as we make our way back to the dock. Making our way into the arcade. Okay, seems like pretty typical arcade. They have a laser maze, which is this big box over there. And just some normal rides. Or not rides, arcade machines for the most part. Giant Monopoly game? Apparently, my guess is you maybe, yeah, you roll this. Ah, interesting. Oh my gosh, we're on our way to do the uh, Wooden Warrior Coaster, and they're actually running this water ride right now. Uh, we might have to do this. All right, so we're gonna have to hold off on that water coaster for now, or water ride, because it's not technically a water coaster. Uh, everybody just got wet on it, and we have like all our cameras and phones, so, and it's kind of getting cold right now, so we'll have to do that later in the evening, hopefully. And probably because it's cold, there's hardly a line for that water ride, but we're gonna do the wooden coaster now, and the line has definitely increased. Comes out to here now. If I had to guess, it's probably a 20 minute wait. I like this sign that they have here. Go ahead and pause the video now and take a read of what this sign says. By the way, you'll have to trust me for the wooden coaster here. Uh, do the back row. The back row is absolutely amazing. So much better than the front. Uh, so yeah, if you can only do it once, do the back row for sure. But of course, if you can do it multiple times, do the front and the back, and you'll see the difference. All right, checking out their gift shop now, seeing what they got in terms of merch. They actually have a lot more merch here that's themed around their park, the Mini Six Flags parks. Like, look at this guy. This guy's pretty adorable. And it says Quasi there. Six Flags doesn't even have this level of merch with their individual park name on it. They got t-shirts at the Wazoo with their name on it. They even have a Wooden Warrior shirt. This one's kind of cool. Oh, it shows off all the coasters that they had. So they had a Wild Mouse coaster for 22 years and then a Monster Mouse coaster as well. Uh, I wonder what those would look like. But uh, kind of interesting, that little dipper coaster has been open since 1952, wow. Crystal found a phone pouch for water protection. Oh wow, look at this, they even have glasses and stuff that say Quasi Amusement Park. Six Flags doesn't even do that. I love all this merchandise that says Quasi and the different 
roller coasters that they have. It's absolutely amazing. By the way, we got a magnet from the gift shop. It is four dollars. It, it's kind of a little flimsy. Like the quality is not there, but we have to get a magnet from every park that we go to. That we can. That we can. Some parks, for some reason, don't have magnets. Now we're gonna get some ice cream, I think, from Sweet Sensations. Oh my gosh, someone lost their balloons. It has the number eight on it, so I guess someone turned eight, or 80, or 18, 28. But yeah, they're flying away. We just got the peanut butter cookies and cream. This is what it looks like. And I, I mean, this this is how, how big it is, just in case you're wondering. So it, it's not a great size, but it, it's okay. Ice cream was good. Moving on, we're gonna do the water ride, or at least I am. Uh, we're basically done with everything at this park uh, that we want to do. There's like, there's like some rides that they have that we just aren't interested in, like the swing ship, the swing chairs. But yeah, we, we've done like everything. By the way, here's a sign with all the prices for what they offer here. You should definitely do at least one of these, if not more than one, if you come here. Like the Quasi Queen Lake Excursion, absolutely fun. And I'm sure either the pedal boats or the kayaks would also be really fun as well. As we make our way over to the water right over here, I wanna show off what this carousel looks like all lit up. It has transformed. It was a caterpillar and now it's a beautiful butterfly. All lit up. In sad news, you need somebody to go with you on that water ride. And Crystal was holding all our stuff so we just couldn't go because you know someone had to hold all the stuff so I couldn't do the water ride sadly. But we are doing the wooden uh, coaster one more time. Because it's a short line right now. There's only one family in that whole train. <laughs> By the way, as we head our way to the parking lot, check this out. Quasi happy place. And they have Walder there. And that bell ring means you had a good fun day here. Oh! That's kind of cool actually. That's a very fun thing to do. Wow, that's cool. I think Crystal had a very good day. <laughs> Okay, one last thing while we exit the parking lot. You can see this is where they do the Iron Man thing. So they say bike in, and over here it says bike out. And these are where they store all of their bikes. So it's kind of cool. I don't know if you can hear, but you could hear the bell in the parking lot. That's just such a cool idea. More parks should do that bell. All right, so we're all done with Quasi. We had a pretty good day. I was thinking this park would be like an hour or two because they only had like two rides that I thought I was interested in. But I thought that, based on what I could see online, I thought that there might be a little bit more that we'd be interested in. So I convinced him to do the after 4 p.m. wristband. Mm -hmm. This is definitely, you could spend at least half a day here if you did all the rides and the water park. You could spend a whole day here. Uh, and the boat ride was actually a very pleasant surprise. That part was amazing. Definitely do the boat ride. Yeah. And if you get here earlier, do a pedal boat ride or a kayak ride. Um, I mean, they do cost extra, but they definitely seem worth it. And the Wooden Warrior Coaster, very good. A very good coaster. Uh, the hard part is this park is so far out of the way, it just, I, I don't see us coming back here in a while to do it, but it, yeah. it's a very good coaster, especially that back row. Mm -hmm. So if you live anywhere in the area, or if you happen to be visiting for something and you find yourself with a little bit of extra time, come here, give it a try. You don't even have to worry about spending for all day the fee. Like mm -hmm. you can just pay for t like tickets for the, each ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely do the wooden work. It's well worth it, especially if you're in the area. But um, yeah, the, the fun park. Yeah, a good time. Yeah. That's it for today. See ya. Bye.